Hey, what's up? Mark here from the Backpacking Gear Net. Today we're going to talk about the backpack that I've been carrying for a year. Now that backpack is this one right here. This is the Outdoor Vitals Shadow Light 60 liter ultralight backpack. So I'm going to tell you some things about this backpack that I really like about it and some things that could be improved about it. So this backpack, if you look at it, you'll see that it's held up against all the abrasions and everything from all my, my backpacking trips this year and, and my section that I did on the PCT. And now there is a tear on it. It's right here in the mesh. And I was crawling under a log and it, it just caught this limb and just ripped ripped a hole in it. Um, I should have taken my backpack off, but um, I don't know any backpack that the mesh on the back would have survived that. But the neat thing about this is that happened like six months ago and even still using it, the hole has not grown at all. I haven't sewn it and the hole does not get bigger. Um, with a lot of mesh, it'll start kind of tearing and, and getting worse. But it didn't and it's just been super durable and, and I love it. If you look here, there's a zipper that goes down the back like this. So that's why the mesh pockets are split into two sections. But I like it for organization because some of my other backpacks have had just one big pocket here and it's hard to keep stuff where you want it to be. So I've realized that I actually like this better than one big pocket. Um, this has worked out really well for me. And as far as this zipper goes, now I should probably say this because it's kind of a thing. People like to know that they have YKK zippers. So yeah, it's got YKK zippers, good stuff. This isn't the main way to get into the backpack, but if you have it packed, you can open it up like this and you can actually get stuff out, you can get stuff out without having to pull everything else out from the top. I should have gotten the 45 liter backpack because I did not need the 60. Now, I bought an 80 liter backpack from another company and um, I used to be a college professor and I was gonna use it on a scientific expedition because we had to put a lot of scientific equipment in it and so I wanted to, have plenty of space. I can get just as much stuff in this 60 liter backpack as I could in that 80 liter backpack. Just to kind of give you an idea of just how big this thing really is. I really like this roll top. It's got a nice stiff piece of material across here so that when you roll it up, it, it holds it all really well. And because I don't fill it up, my one complaint is this isn't adjustable in size, so I tie this in a knot and I go like that. But, um, you know, if I stick a bear can or something up here, I can always um, use my, my load strap up here on the top, which is, which is nice because it's, it's nice and big and it's worked really well. Now, I do have to say I've never had a problem with the fact that I can't fill this up. My load doesn't shift around and when I... And when I pull this nice and cinched, and when I pull this nice and cinched, it's just, it stays, nothing moves. Here's what I said about how I never fill it. So here's the frame, and this is all the space, because this is what I actually took last weekend, minus I had a chair in here. But the roll top on it just goes up like this, and you can actually get probably another 25% of your space that way. So it's been really good. Now this material is a combination of, of nylon and Spectra, Ripstop and all that kind of stuff. It's very thick and durable. With how durable this is, I thought this backpack would weigh a lot more than it does, but it weighs just under two pounds for this 60 liter backpack. And the price is right on it. Um, they have sales quite often, and you can usually get this backpack for under $200. You have these two pockets right here, okay? So they're trying to create more features with this backpack, because a lot of backpacks that are under two pounds 
don't have any extra features. So they got load straps on the side here. And let me take, let me take my tent poles out. And um, so they got load straps on the side here so you can, you know, tighten it up and keep it all nice and tight. But it also works great for when you, when you put your, your tent poles in here. Now, complaint number one, when my tent poles are in here, I have to leave them slightly back like that because otherwise I can't use this pocket and I always put my, my cook pot right there so it's easy to get to. And there's, there's cinch straps on this also which not only allows you to keep everything in the pocket but it also helps um, compress the load. So it works as a load strap too. So this doesn't have any place where it can really just kind of sit straight up. This, this spot right here if I push my pot forward and I go like that, that's kind of what I do. And then I put other stuff over here. And then when I tighten this down, the load strap keeps my, my tent poles there. But I wish on one side, the pocket would just be moved a little bit that way or something. So there was a spot specific where you could put your tent poles, but it works. I can do it. It, it's not the end of the world. The frame on this backpack is really stiff. It's got these load straps right here so that you can pull the, the load off of your shoulders and transfer them to your hips. I, um, I haven't had an issue with them and it works really great. Now, I will tell you that you will get a sweaty back with this. And they put this little sit pad thing in here, which is nice because you can take it out and, and, and use it. It comes out. But if you can see this, it's kind of egg crate like, and that's how they get the ventilation on your back. And it doesn't really help. My back still gets sweaty, but um, like I said, I've been carrying this for a year and I like it so much, I don't care about that, that extra sweat, but that might be an issue for somebody, but for me, it's, it's not been that big of a deal, and I thought it would be. It's really nice that you can just put this in here, and it makes it so you have a nice, soft material to protect you from anything pokey in your, in your back. And now the guy, the guy that is the designer, his name's Brigham, and he, in this video that I watched, talked about the different densities of foam and how they tried different thicknesses because they wanted to find the thinnest amount that still gives you the same amount of comfort. He actually says in the video, he said that it doesn't change the comfort past a certain thickness. Um, this backpack is designed to carry 35 pounds. And I know a lot of you probably carry more than 35 pounds, and I've had to carry more on long water carries where I had to have like five or six liters because there wasn't water for a long ways. And it carried it just fine. Um, so I know I've gone over 35 pounds and not, not felt like it didn't work and do its job. This backpack has been great. The foam on it has worked really well. And I was concerned because I came from I came from a lot of traditional backpacks where you had, you know, an inch of foam and I always thought that more foam was better, but I guess it is only when you're carrying super heavy loads. Now, the hip belt is the same way. They put enough padding in here that it takes the pain off of your hips. Um, I didn't get any bruising with this or anything and it feels comfortable once you get it dialed you're able to actually take this hip belt off and you can take the frame out too and, and go frameless if you want. But um, I never have and I have no intention of ever doing that because I like having a frame. It keeps, keeps the weight off my shoulders. Um, it's got two zipper pockets, one on each side. And those zipper pockets are huge. Um, the way that you strap it around your waist is with this uh, plastic buckle right here. And it's never failed, it's great. I mean, if you look at my backpack, it looks like it's in really good condition considering I've, I've carried it for a year. On the opposite side, 
it's got the two pockets like on the other side and I stick all my stuff in here like my my poop shovel. One of the main reasons why I keep purchasing Outdoor Vitals products is because I love the fact that they give you a good value. Now, they've never given me anything for free and I wish they would because I love their products, but they've never given me anything for free and I keep spending my money on this just like everybody else because they make good stuff and they stand behind it. Um, I had an issue with a with a quilt one time and they don't even question it. They just say, send it to us. And within like four days, I had a new one sent out to me. They stand behind their product, which I really like. Um, so if I'm gonna invest my money in, in a company's product, I, I try to pick somebody I trust. I like the fact that the owner is the, the guy who started it and um, his name is Tyson and I don't, I don't know any of them. I just know them from YouTube like everybody else. And um, he seems like he's really involved with his products, which is nice because then it's not people who don't care about the company. It's, it's actually the person who depends on the company. So if you felt like this content was useful to you, please hit that like button and subscribe so that I can grow the channel and, and continue to make videos like this. Um, down below, I have some affiliate links and also a link to my store if you want to pick up a t-shirt or something. And other than that, I'll see you on the next one.